I was with a, uh, as instructor with a student, and this is in this sort of first 25 hours, and one of the big things that you gave with a student was to give him practice engine failures after takeoff, where you'd reduce the throttle to a certain degree, put the speed brakes out, and that simulated an engine failure. Depending on the speed, you either just pulled straight up and injected, or if you had enough speed, you pulled up and looked back over your shoulder, and if you assessed you could make the, the, return, the cross runway, you'd come back on it. I was very uh, uh, strong on procedure, cockpit procedure, and the, the uh, Caterson, canopy jettison was a D-ring located in front of the throttle of the instructor in the centre of the instrument panel. So the pilot in the left-hand seat, which was the student, he actually had to, if he had the engine failure, he actually had to change hands, bring his left hand across to the control column, go out and pull the D-ring to get rid of the canopy because you had to manually uh, eject the canopy because you couldn't eject because of a big metal frame that came over your shoulder. My technique with the students was to get them with a closed fist to touch that, they just hammer the back of it uh, so that they got used to going there. This particular student, though, he'd done it about five or six times before. He actually reached out, put his hand through the D-ring and went bang. So the canopy came off, the dust came up, you know, virtually blinding you, getting underneath the visor into your eyes and that, and we're left up there. And he had a very cute habit, this chap, as it turned out later on. When he did something wrong, and it's a psychological thing, he just took his hands off everything. Because if he wasn't holding it, he wasn't responsible. So here he is with his hands pinned back over the back of the ejection seat like this, and the aeroplane sort of pointing up like that.